السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو دا شور ڈیلی ریمائنڈر ان شاء اللہ ٹو ڈے وی ول لرن ا بٹ مور فرام دی لائف آف آور بلو ان میسنجر محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ٹو ڈیز انسیڈنٹ ٹک پلیس جسٹ فیو ایئرز بفور آور بلو ان میسنجر محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم was given the mantle of prophethood. The historians have mentioned that this incident took place between the age of 35 and 40. It is the incident of Zayd bin Haritha radiallahu ta'ala anhu where he was adopted by our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His name was changed from Zayd bin Haritha to Zayd bin Muhammad. This is a very long incident. Zayd bin Haritha was only eight years old when he was kidnapped and taken into slavery. There was a group of people who did not like Zayd bin Haritha radiallahu ta'ala anhu's father. So in order to cause him pain, they kidnapped his son and sold him in the market of Uqqaz. Uqqaz was a huge market which would take place after the Hajj season. Zayd bin Haritha رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ was sold in this market for 400 درہم which was a lot of money in those days to Hakim bin Hizam who was the cousin of Khadija رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ Khadija رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ had sent her cousin brother Hakim bin Hizam that oh Hakim I am in need of a young boy as a slave who can look after my day-to-day duties. So I am giving you this money, 400 dirhams. Go find me a good slave. So Hakim bin Hizam, when he went into the marketplace of Uqqaz, he saw Zayd bin Haritha, a young boy. He went over and bought him. Zayd bin Haritha stayed as a slave with Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha for approximately eight years. Then when Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha got married to our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, she gifted Zayd bin Haritha to our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whilst this was taking place, Zayd bin Haritha's father, he was worried. He was going everywhere trying to find his son, but he was unable to. Finally, one year when a group of people from Zayd bin Haritha's tribe came to perform Hajj, they saw that This same child is Zayd bin Haritha and his father is trying to find him. So when they returned back to the village, they told his father that we found your son Zayd bin Haritha. He is a slave in Makkah al-Mukarrama. His father was really happy and he quickly gathered all the wealth he could and got his brother and set off for Makkah al-Mukarrama. As soon as he reached Makkah al-Mukarrama, he went straight to the Kaaba and he asked the people that I am looking for a grandchild of Abdul Muttalib. He has a slave who is my son. People pointed towards Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that this young man, he is Abdul Muttalib's grandson. 
go and ask him. He will let you know if he has your son or not. When he went to our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he started praising him. The intention was that if I praise Muhammad, then he would be willing to sell my son back to me. After praising him, he said that, O oh Muhammad, I heard you have a Yemeni slave boy. Is this true? Muhammad وسلم, replied, Yes, there is a Yemeni slave I have. His name is Zayd bin Haritha. When hearing this, the father of Zayd bin Haritha was so happy. He told the full story to our beloved messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that this is how my son was kidnapped and he was brought into slavery. And then requested that, O oh Muhammad, can you please sell my son back to me? I have bought all the wealth which I have. Please sell him back to me. But our beloved messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, denied and he said I cannot sell you Zayd bin Haritha because I am going to leave this option to Zayd bin Haritha himself if he chooses to go back with you then I will set him free he can go with you I will not take a single penny from you on the other hand if he chooses to stay with me then it does not make a difference how much wealth you give me, I will not send him with you. Hearing this, Zayd bin Haritha's father became even more happy that yes, finally I will get my son back and that as well for free. But to his surprise, when Zayd bin Haritha was asked the question, that would you like to stay with me, Muhammad, or would you like to go back with your father and uncle? Zayd bin Haritha replied, that how can I choose anyone over you? I am not going to go with my father, I rather stay with you. Hearing this, the father of Zayd bin Haritha turned to him and said that, Oh my son, have you become mad? How can you choose to remain a slave? Whereas you have an option to be a free man and go back to your hometown. Zayd bin Haritha said that I have spent many years with Muhammad and there is not a better man than him that I could spend the rest of my life with. Zayd bin Haritha had approximately spent 10 years as a slave with our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hearing this, that Zayd bin Haritha chooses to stay with me, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam became so happy, he took hold of him went to the Kaaba where everyone could hear him. He said out loud that, O oh people, hear me carefully. From this day onwards, Zayd bin Haritha is a free man. He is no more a slave. He is a free man. And from now on, he is my son. I have adopted him. He is from this day onwards, Zaid bin Muhammad. I hope you enjoyed this short daily reminder. If you did, make dua for all those people who help in making these short daily reminders. And second thing, subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notifications button, press the like button below and share it with others. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.